Hey you, I'm getting quite used to having you around. It's Lucy Luck, and today we are playing a super underrated game called Traveler's Rest. This is a Stardew Valley-esque game where you can run your own cozy tavern, and it might just be one of my favorite life sims to come out in years. So without further ado, get comfy cozy, Pop on some headphones if you like, and let's go on an adventure. It's good to see you. It's been a while since we've played a nice indie game together, and I've been wanting to play this one for a long time. I know I typically play non-traditional cozy games on this channel, but sometimes you just really need cozy cozy game, am I right? I put so much work into those narrated PG3 playthrough videos, so I needed a bit of a breaky break. So this will be a bit of an informal, cozy, rambly video. I've just been so surprised there aren't more people talking about this game. You can brew your own beer, own a cat, and just live in a nice cottage far away from society. What's not to like? <laughs> Alright, as much as I love character creators, I'll end up spending way too long on this, so... My character's ready to go, and I'm going to name my tavern The Loose Goose. It's a bit of a shout-out to the Comfy Cozy Discord. My name somehow went from Lucy to Loose to Goose, and now there are just many variations of Lucy and Goosey. But feel free to check out the Discord, we have a good bunch of silly goobers over there. Welcome to Traveler's Rest. The game is currently in early access, enjoy your time, leave a review, and thank you. Do you guys ever leave reviews on things? I'm one of those people who gives five stars to everything I even mildly enjoy. All right, pause to, to move, left shift to run, and B to decorate. I do love to decorate. Also, this music is filling me with so much whimsy right now. Okay, R to rotate, Q to add to inventory. Customers will also expect their table to be lit. Exit, decoration mode, get close to the book. So, I guess this is where we keep our food. Great selection we have so far. Press O to open your tavern. Well, they're just throwing us right in there, just like the real service industry. Okay, so we need to serve six customers, and it looks like we'll get more tables and chairs. I'm so sorry if you're hearing a ton of background noise. I'm out of state at the moment, so I'm recording in a makeshift setup in an Airbnb in a big, big city. My tummy is also growling, but you didn't need to know that. Okay, this is easy peasy so far. Last customer, boom. Six customers served. Okay, close up the tavern so you can place your new items. Well, that was awfully fast. They just ordered. If only it was that easy in real life. No rent or bills. You can just open and close whenever you want. Alright, last call, guys. I know we just opened, but Mama needs to decorate. I want to see if I can explore a bit. We wait for them. Oh, I need to get out of decoration mode. Yeah. What's up here? Okay, nothing I can interact with. Nope. Set up a table using your new items under decoration mode. Alright, alright. Okay, so we'll explore that later. Let's get this table right here. Here? I need to scoot. 
Nope, too high. There we go. Open your tavern. And we need to serve eight bowls of gruel. Where am I getting the gruel, though? Based on the name, it sounds like an irresponsible thing to serve, but... Gruel is just, a uh, thin porridge, right? I can't say I've had much porridge. I've had malto meal as a kid. I don't know if that counts. I do like these little sounds in the game, the little pops when you serve a customer. It's so satisfying. I'm excited to see what the rest of the world is like. I think there's farming in this game, like Stardew. I loved those sounds from that game. Okay, we did it. You can now serve porridge and water. Okay. So, we just need to put that on the menu. Customers can also order drinks. Taps can be filled with beer, while kegs can be filled with any drinks. If you don't have any beverages, customers will just ask for water. Nope. The table's become dirty. Goodness. It's kind of in the middle of something. Water first, then clean. I'm already having service industry flashbacks. Thank you so much for your patience. We are low-staffed at the moment, but I'll be right with you as soon as possible. The customers asked for a glass of water. Done. Now the drink has been added to your tray. You'll be able to see the drinks above on your action bar. I'm really excited to cook and brew stuff. Get a good stout going, perhaps some wine, and a bit of cheese. I love a cheese, but for now we just try and breeze through this tutorial. Okie dokie, I served five glasses of water, so now we get an axe. You've obtained a copper axe, close your tavern and go outside to chop trees in order to advance your quests. That's exciting. I'm eager to check out the great outdoors, so let's go ahead and close up shop. Can I check out this room now? This must be my bedroom. Oh, I can make the bed. This is your bedroom. Sleep in your bed to save the game. If you stay up too late, you'll pass out. <laughs> so, a lot of similarities to Stardew. Question is, how late is too late? For me, it's when the sun starts rising, but I can't imagine that's the case in this game. I left the customers unattended to for one second, and they went feral. So, now we can go out. Ooh. So this is what my tavern looks like. Super cute. I kind of wish I could do pixel art. I think that would be a fun thing to learn. Ooh. Good popping sounds. Knowing me, though, I'll get hyper fixated on it for a month and be unable to do anything else, only to abandon it. Yeah. Good sounds. I'm glad this game has so many great sounds. I could see myself falling asleep to a lot of long plays of this game. I remember doing that quite a bit with Minecraft and Stardew. I still do. Do you guys like no talking long plays? I feel like it wouldn't go over so well if I did that. I did a no talking video once with just typing sounds in No Man's Sky, but I ultimately took it down. Okay, I cut down five trees with the copper axe, so we get a sawmill and a scythe. You've obtained your first work area. Build it outside the tavern using decoration mode. Building the sawmill, exit decoration mode, get close to it, and press E. So I'll probably put my work area to the right of my tavern over here. Ooh, water. So I need to cut this grass, which I can't cut if I'm standing right on top of it. And then I should be able to put it down. At this point, I've cut enough, but it's just so 
fun and satisfying. Okay. Let's get it. Okay. Can't with the rock. Can I put it here? Yes. So we need to fabricate 20 wooden planks. Each crafter has a list of recipes. These show the required ingredients, fuel, and time. That's 5, 10, 15, 20. So now we wait. Quest complete. And now we get a pickaxe. You've obtained the copper pick. You can use the pick to mine loads and get metals and minerals. Okay. Time to find out if mining sounds as good as chopping. Yep, that's pretty good. I can already tell this game is going to become a problem. Do you ever get that feeling when you start playing a game that going to absolutely consume your life for at least a month. I got that feeling with Baldur's Gate and it continues to consume. I think the last cozy game to really consume me was Dave the Diver though. I got so hooked I didn't record a second of it. That probably would have been a good one for the channel. Okay, so just one more rock, then this quest is complete. It looks like we got a smelter, anvil, and a stump with an axe. I had no idea crafting was going to be so prominent. I heard about the cooking and brewing, but this is super cool. I'm wondering what all you can make. So our next quest is to craft 10 iron nails using the smelter and the anvil, so let's find a good place to put this. It's starting to get dark, which worries me a little. The game said if I wait too long to go to bed, I'll pass out, and it never specified what time I need to be in bed by. Also, didn't mention what happens if I do pass out. In Star 2, it's a whole thing. You lose a ton of money and materials, so I don't want to risk it. But let's at least see what all it takes to make these iron nails. We might get to it another time. Let's go ahead and head inside. Oh, I didn't make the bed make it, and then get it. I do that in real life. I tend to make the bed just before I get into it, instead of in the morning. But, we'll be a better citizen in this game, and just make it now. Okay, so today, we need to mine for iron ore to make those nails and see where that leads us. Now, oh, what's this? Before opening your tavern stock up for the day, you'll need logs for crafting and the fireplace. Ooh, ooh. Cozy fireplace. Okay, so we have some firewood and coal. Let's throw a couple firewood in here for now so I don't forget. I think that's gonna come in handy when it gets cold at night. I know it probably wouldn't hurt to open the bar for a bit later to make some money. Okay, so where is the iron? I've gotten some stone and coal so far, but haven't seen a ton of iron around. It probably wouldn't hurt to get a bit of everything while we're at it, though. So definitely need more iron. What's this down here? Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and see if that's enough. So we have 12. Some recipes require fuel. Ah, I see, so that's where the coal and the firewood comes in. Will this be enough? No, we need 10 for each bar. And I have no idea how many bars we will need for iron nails. 
looks like one for every five nails, so that means we just need two. Okay, so I've made the iron nails, unlocked a workbench, crafted a small table, and now we can unlock the crafting room. But the crafting room costs 40 silver to unlock, so we're going to have to open our porridge and water shop. I think I saw eventually in this game you can unlock stuff, which will probably come in handy in the long run. My restaurant is tiny, but it's already getting a bit more chaotic to manage all of the orders on top of cleaning. I don't even have beer or wine yet. So, okay, gotta mop this up, and that guy needs water. I've still been trying to figure out what's up with that table over there. It makes it seem like I can place the water glasses there, but I don't think I can. Let's see. See, this pops up. Yeah. That might just be a multiplayer thing, or for when staff is unlocked, so. Looks like I just need to bring... Uh-oh. The customer's being rowdy. They're marked with inky face. Oh my gosh, okay. So I need to calm them down. Press E. Oh no, the customer's become a nuisance. Oh dear. What do I do? Okay, I have to hit him with the broom. Oh my god. Everyone needs water. He needs food. It looks like one of the water guys left, and thankfully that didn't hurt my reputation. I'm sure I'll get the hang of this eventually, though. Well, what's this? You've reached a new milestone. Yippee. Okay, so looks like we got a tech tree. Tech trees are how you can learn new recipes. Each tech costs skill points. So that's cool. Over time, you can unlock different types of beer. Looks like there's mead. That's cool. I just need the 40 silver to unlock the crafting room, and I'm almost there. I do really love games like this with a lot of fun stuff to unlock. It really makes me feel accomplished when I complete a small task and get a reward. Animal brain happy. Okay. So, he needs water. And looks like we have our 40 gold, but who knows what things we need to buy for the crafting room, so I'll just stay open until we run out of food or something. For some reason, I keep having trouble cleaning those tables. I kind of just bump into them sometimes instead of wiping them down, and I don't know why I'm doing that. It's also kind of tricky to hit the right hitbox for serving. But it looks like we have three bowls of porridge left. Alright, what time is it? 16.40, I think it's at. 16.50. Subtract two from six, and then not good with military time. Do I need to put the fireplace? Your tavern's become cold. Use the fireplace. Okay. Why does it say it's hot, though? Is it too early? The thing said it's cold, but it's hot, so... This place is stuffy. Okay, clean the table, and I might have to turn the fireplace off. Weird. Okay. Two glasses of water coming right up. And then we're probably good to close in a bit. Just clean up this mess. And I think those are our last bowls of porridge, so. That 
was the last of it, so... Last call. I'm mad cozy right now. Like, straight up, snug as a bug. I just need to clean this up, and I got these coasters as a reward for something. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put those down. The description says they keep the tables clean. I'm not sure if that's actually true for the mechanics of the game, but... Ooh. The candles are aglow. But I am gonna need at least four more coasters or I'll lose my mind. Unlock the crafting room. Except... Okay, so we got some barley and water. This is your crafting room. Let's make some pool. Oh, that's a cozy kitchen. So here's the recipes we can make for porridge. Okay. I need to put fuel in it first. Now we can make it. Some recipes can be modified. This allows extra ingredients to be added. I don't know why it keeps saying modifier requirement. Not that. Looks like it's still gonna let me, which is good. Just need to wait for the porridge to cook. It seems like it's going pretty quick. Quest complete. We got a malting machine. Ooh, I think this means we're finally getting to beer making. Now let's brew some beer, place the malting machine, and start crafting all dead barley. Awesome been looking forward to this. So we have our malted barley recipe here. And I keep heading back thinking that will bring me back to the cooking page. But looks like Marley takes a bit of time to make, so we'll just skip ahead. All right, malted barley is complete. And now we get a brewing barrel. Create wood by boiling grains. Place the mash tun. So I'll probably place this and get the recipe started, but it's 1am, so I should probably go ahead and sleep while we wait for that to be ready. Okay, so we need to add fuel, and then the wart. Time for sleepy time. Has anyone here gotten into brewing? I have a lot of friends that brew various drinks, but I can't say I've ever tried. It seems like an expensive hobby. And probably also mildly dangerous if you get it wrong, but I have no idea. I have a buddy that makes a good mead, though. Okay, perfect. It's all good to go now for the last stage, fermentation. Wow, I didn't notice that you can actually create, like, custom concoctions by adding different fruits and stuff. I'm gonna have so much fun with this. So let's reorganize our setup a bit, make things a little more efficient, and then go ahead and get started on that ale. Looks like I can add some hops. Lovely. And I imagine the stage is going to take a bit longer, so we can go work on some other quests or something while we wait. I know we need to make a small bench. Cat? A cat? Oh my goodness, which cat do we want? Oh, they're all really cute. I think the black one's my favorite. And let's name them. How about Bourbon? I think that's a fitting name for a tavern cat. That's also my cat's name in Stardew. Aww. A cat has wandered into your tavern. I guess it lives here now. Ooh, we can buy it a little bed and a water bowl. Yeah, I'm going to do that immediately. Where's the cat stuff? We need to make our child comfortable. 
I think I saw someone on the Traveler's Rest Reddit asking what the purpose is of making your cat happy. And everyone in the comments were just asking why they wouldn't want their cat to be happy. So while we wait for those items to be delivered, we can skip ahead and get that small bench crafting. And now our cat bed and water bowl should be delivered. I'm gonna be honest, it's been an absolute nightmare recording this evening, I think. Someone is repairing a motorcycle next door, and they just keep revving the engine. I mean, I don't blame them. I mean, it's a beautiful day to repair a motorcycle, but it's not ideal to be the ASM artist in the Airbnb next door. Okay, so we got those placed. I might end up moving this to the bedroom eventually, but I think that's good for now. I think you'll be happy. Okay, let's go ahead and check on the status of that beer. Almost done. Let's go ahead and skip ahead. Quest complete. Congratulations, you've brewed your first beer. Press T to view your tech tree. Your beer's almost ready to serve need to be aged, okay? So I think that's where the cellar comes into play. To age the drinks, just add them to your aging barrels and let time pass. Approach the keg, press Q, and then... I think they need at least one day before they can be served. So let's get that in there. We put half. I don't know if it goes faster if we put. Probably not. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's just put all of them in. And then wait a day. Boom. So, the longer they're put in, then the more money you make, but... We need some beer now, so I'm going to put a few in there to keep aging. And then just keep these for now to go ahead and sell. But yay, we made our first beer. So, in the day that's been aging, I added another table to our dining area, made some more coin, and I also purchased a wall calendar for a quest. I'm currently waiting for that to be delivered. I need to make sure I add one last bench for our table here. And it would probably be good to get another candle in that corner of the bar just to make sure everything is well lit. Oh, awesome. Order delivered. Let's go ahead and grab that and see what it do. This is your calendar, where important events will be noted. Select any day marked with a red dot to view its events. Okie dokie. I don't see any red dots. Well y'all, that's probably a good stopping point for today's video. I ended up playing this many, many hours after that last footage, and I'm in love with my tavern. I really can't recommend this game enough. My bar is now complete, with a cozy inn upstairs for people to rent. Outside, I also have some farm animals and a garden. I also realized there's an entire town to explore with people to meet, and secrets to uncover. There's also fishing, but I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you really like this content, feel free to join the Comfy Cozy Discord and Patreon. A big thank you to all of my patrons, and shout out to my top patrons, Brayden R. and Game Ender. I can't thank you enough for supporting the channel in this way, and making it possible for me to create the best videos I can. Sweet dreams, and I look forward to seeing you next time.